of Godson. Let's go over back to the Red Balloon side and see uh, who he wants to attack next. Godson, it's going to be your first attack. Who are you going for? So um, I think there's no chance for Town Hall's uh, 10s to go after 12, so I'm going after Lady B. I'm going to try uh. and add insult to injury after that attack she did and see if I get three-star. Okay, well, fair enough. Don't injure her too hard, though. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure she can handle it, though. Can you get that three-star on your first hit? Uh, all right. Guess I, we'll see. I, I think he already to uh, tuned into his attack. I think he's already <laughs> planning. He already put a lot of uh, pressure on himself because he's wanting to see that three star. And that base has not been hit yet. So that means that he has to go in what they call a blind attack where there is no information. He just has to go for it and try to get that triple. A fresh hit. Can he make it happen? Looks like Lady B is going to be running with a heart-shaped base. Will Gatson be the heartbreaker today? He's going to be attacking with a golem, lots of bowlers, lots of witches. What's, hey. the, what's the magic <laughs> formula here to get that three star? Yeah, no, I'm just enjoying the artwork of the base design. I mean, it is it is a very a boxy heart shape. I don't know if Lady B meant that on purpose or if it just turned out that way, doing some wall art in the middle of her intense war training. Guys, they've been working on these bases for at least a few, like at least a week that they've been here preparing and, and getting you know the jet lag getting that out of there but for now what we're dealing with here is it's just a beautiful attack and i'm looking forward to uh to seeing what godson can pull off here with these golem bowler witch attack all right let's see it yeah he starts off with a few snipes around the corners of the map then he's going in hard in the top right there goes the wall wrecker making its way straight toward the town hall as fast as it can it's got a long way to travel though and oh my god that golem getting burnt up by the inferno tower nice freeze though saves a few hit points on it i love all these gull uh these bowlers and witches spreading out though getting lots of damage across the top of the base but you can clearly see the main thrust of the attack in the center there archer queen getting a few pop shots against the lava hound and the balloon trying to defend but frozen up this is the really difficult time, though, with all the pups coming out now. She's going to be distracted and won't be able to get any much more damage on the actual defensive buildings. I am so impressed by this wall record, though. It made it from the top right corner of the base all the way to the town hall now. That's right. And notice that that town hall is on the outside of the walls. And yet still that wall, wall record was like, no, straight line, straight for that town hall. And it opened up the entire side of the base. Now, Godson used some amazing free spells in that attack, freezing the clan castle, freezing the inferno tower. And notice, he's still got one left and a jump spell, but there's a lot of base left and a queen ability, which he just used. So now, how is it going to turn out? How do you feel about this attack so far, Woody? It's looking pretty strong, but unfortunately, he's... Oh, my God, he actually saves the Archer Queen by dropping a free spell on that Inferno Tower. He's running low on spells, though, and I don't know. This could go either way, Klaus. I don't want to call it too soon. We've got a Barbarian King still alive, trying to provide some insulation uh, for the Archer Queen here, but doesn't want to get a lock from this Inferno Tower. I think that he's just about safe, though. That single fire Inferno Tower failed to take out the skeletons in time, and with that many witches stacked behind him, I think he's got a good chance of going for the three-star. Absolutely. I think that things are looking up. He has a lot of bowlers still raining down oh, the rocks. No. And, oh, That huge giant bomb just annihilated his army. Lost a big portion of the skeleton supporting that barbarian king but still managed to take out quite a few defenses in the meantime 34 seconds left to destroy the remainder of this base it's looking pretty good for the attackers that's right fortunately those skeletons can be brought back to life or un, un life i'm not sure they're skeletons <laughs> but either way looks like it's gonna be the three star for guts mary terry mary and larry all stacked up on top of that final remaining turret takes it down and claims the three star hundo hit Congratulations to Godson. That was an amazing attack. I, I'm going to give it to Godson. His usage of his spells were perfect. The deployment was great. He got lucky with that queen walking around, getting away from that Inferno Tower. Uh, just everything lined up perfectly for Godson. That was a very nice three star. And that brings the score now to Red Balloons, eight stars, and Blue Dragons, five stars, a three star deficit for the Blue Dragons. All right. Well, the Red Balloons are ahead on the scoreboard, but Lady B's going to get a chance to hit Godson later if she show choose. But in the meantime, why don't we head back and try to figure out what's going on in the minds of our red balloon players? Godson just got a great three star attack. And, you know, Klaus credited it to your spell placement. But I think that wall record did it for you. Godson, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think spell placement is really important when you're doing uh, three starring. And uh, I just I just did my best and it paid off. So I'm really uh, happy with the results. And hopefully our team will keep going with the momentum.
Excellent. Well, proper planning ensures perfect execution. Nicely done there. And we'll see how many more three stars uh, his team is able to get. Klaus? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, there's just a lot of things went right in that attack. And you really can't say much more aside from it was awesome. And I enjoyed the heck out of it. And I'm sure you guys at home did as well. His turn to scout up a base. Godson is uh, going to be attacking next. And Godson, I, I got to know, who are you going to be hitting? Uh, so I'm going to go after my friend Alvaro. Uh, Lady B hurt my pride a little bit, so I'm going to go have fun with, uh, with his base over there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. She hurt your pride, <laughs> but I'm sure you can take it back with a good scout. Best of luck to you, man. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Uh, so so Godson took that one seriously, took that one personally. I'm pretty sure he was just playing around, though. This is all fun and games. It's called a friendly war. I mean, people. it's fun and games until there's 50,000 gems on the line. Losers get 50K, but the winners get 100,000 each. That's right. And of course, we want to mention, we never want to forget that those aren't gems for them to oh, gem no. their walls up. No. They're gems to give to their viewers and to their subscribers and to their followers on YouTube, Twitch, or whatever it is that they are very interested in. And of course, there are links down below in the video description, the clan, or the uh, uh, stream description for those, uh, those different content creators and us too. Shameless oh, yeah. plug number two. Yeah, of course. It's a great way to get a good head start on the new update uh, to be able to juice your troops up. Let's go check out on this right side corner. Though. We've got a golem starting to scout things over here for Godson. He's going to back it up, though. He's got quite a few witches to try to drill into this corner of the base. That's right. Godson actually sitting on a, a, a Town Hall 10 base, hitting a Town Hall 11. This is a scout yet again trying to gather that information, trying to give his Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12 clan mates the information they need to pull off that three star. Because I heard one of them mention they want a perfect war. And I, I mean, I think it's possible. I, uh, what do you think would happen if one of these clans got a perfect war and then the other clan got a perfect war? My I don't head, think my head would explode. I know. I, I don't, I don't know my too. Handle that. Yeah. No, I, I don't either. I mean, I think it's definitely a possibility that we have some of the best attackers in the world here in studio today. And that is definitely not part of the script, uh, naming two winners. So we'll see. <laughs> We will just have to see. But remember, the goal of this scouting attack from Godson is not to just try to destroy the base. He doesn't have enough troops in order to get a three-star, uh, typically against a town hall that's higher than his own. But he can get a lot of information about where the traps are, like Teslas, giant bombs, and even spring traps, any of the seeking air mines. You want to know where those are so that you can keep your own troops uh, safe on the next hit. So whenever uh, the red balloons are going in against Alvaro again, they'll have a lot more information for that attack. Looks like just a couple of minions and a couple of goblins remain in Godson's uh, attack here, trying to get a little bit more uh, off of Alvaro. Oh my goodness, so that minion almost gets that army camp. Unfortunately, no more troops that are available can target that army camp. All he's got left is a, uh, wow, look at that goblin. He is being targeted up to the very last second, and then the Inferno Tower pulls it off. Yes, he's trying to get the last few percentage points. You never know when those percentage points are going to matter, but it looks like Godson's going to grab that 44% one star. Sure did. Hopped into the base and got a good look at what Alvaro's working with. I wonder if Alvaro just feels naked now from, from being peeled away. All of his defense gone. Uh, He's been hit twice now, but his uh, base is held up against Arsenic and Godson. Yeah, so now we can take it away that um, they, they have the information they need. Alvaro probably sitting here going, well, darn it, now I can't probably defend because everybody knows everything about my base. But hey, that's war. That's what happens. All is fair in love and war, especially in war. That's true. That, that, that is definitely true. I've, I've heard that before. It sounds very artistic, but uh, why, why don't we learn a little bit more about that last attack? You got any questions for Godson? Uh, yes, of course I do. Godson, so uh, that, that attack, it seemed to go well. It seemed to go the way you wanted it to go, but we'd love to get your perspective. Well, if you look at the replay, somehow there was no siege machine in the attack. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, I think it may have changed the tides if I put it in there, or if uh, somehow it just disappeared, but... Uh, I'm Town Hall 10 anyway, so I wasn't expecting too much, but just uh, to get a little bit, a bit of a percentage there. Hey, well, it sounds like you did exactly that. And of course, I, I, I did notice you didn't have a siege machine. I, I thought it was on purpose, to be honest. Uh, but it's something to remember at home, ladies and gentlemen, that you do when you actually play with the siege machine yourself. Before the attack, you have to physically select that siege machine. If you don't, you're going to leave it behind. And it's not the thing you want to do in a war attack. But uh, Godson, that's my, my theory. If you're not sure, we'll just go with that. Yeah, that's what it was. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, good job anyway. Got a lot of good info and best of luck to you and your team.
Well, there we go. Now we have it. We understand what happened. And um, now it is, we're about half, actually, we are exactly halfway through this war, Woody. It is 11 to 10, red balloons up by one star, and each clan has now used five attacks apiece. So this is technically the halfway point.